Hi, welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for joining in. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and like if you think this video has been helpful. So we're talking about something today that a lot of women battle with when they travel, makeup. Like what exactly should you bring? I'm not a huge makeup wearer, but I like to wear makeup. And I like to make sure that I bring what I want to bring. It's super important. And we always have to be cognizant of the 311 rule, right? 3.4 ounces in a quart size zip top container, one container per person. So when you're packing your stuff, you want to make sure that you don't have too many liquids if you want to carry on. If you check your bag in, you could add whatever you want, really, depending on how big the bag is. But packing light is so freeing. I mean, you can just pack light and go anywhere. When you have big suitcases, it makes it difficult. So I like to pack light with my makeup. So the thing that you want to think about when you're thinking about what makeup to bring, if you bring liquid foundation, you want to make sure that it's in a 3.4 jar. But if you bring a powdered foundation, that doesn't count as a liquid. Powders don't count. So if you bring a powdered foundation and you bring powdered blush, because the, the, the makeup that's going to get you the bang for your buck really is eyeliner, mascara, blush, and maybe a powder or a foundation. And then everything else is kind of like, what is it that you want to bring? Because you can dress up by having a colored lipstick, something that's bright. What I like to do is I have these Thrive eyeliners and they're solid, so they don't count as liquid. And I use powder for almost all of my makeup, but I'll bring a couple different lipsticks. I'll bring an everyday lipstick and I'll bring a more colorful lipstick if I wanna get dressed up. So it's like, how do you condense your makeup bag to figure out what it is that you need and want and especially if you're carrying on. So one way to do that is to lay out all of your makeup and decide what are the most critical things you want to bring. And remember that if it's solid, it doesn't count as a liquid cream or gel or aerosol, right? You don't want to bring those on the plane. So if you have... Um, you don't want to bring a big eyeshadow palette either. You want to bring maybe one color. You want to figure out what it is that is essential. I'll show you some of the things that I go through when I look at my makeup and how I choose it. But like I said, I'm not a huge makeup person, but I like to have makeup. And um, so I'm curious to know what you like to bring. I'll show you what I have and how I decide what I want to bring. So I got a new makeup bag because my other one broke and I got this for my birthday. But this is not something that I would bring with me when I traveled. It's just too much and I really don't need all that stuff. I have makeup eyeshadow palettes, which I won't bring. Because all I need out of all of this really is powdered foundation. Let's see, I'll bring a couple of brushes. I'll probably bring these two. And I don't need, this is just a setting powder that I won't bring. And this is bronzer, I'll bring that. I'll bring, I had to go get my blush. I didn't have it in here. <laughs> so my blush. So I have these three things. They're powder, and so they don't need to go through security. I always have my lip balm, and that's solid. And then I love these eye brightener pencils. They are so nice, and you can... Put them on and you could use those as a eyeshadow. So I bring those. I have one that I could use as a liner. This is kind of fun. I love this color. But I would probably bring my other one. 
So you need to pick out the ones that you would wear more often. And this would be the one I would bring regularly, so I wouldn't bring this. I would definitely bring my concealer, which would be liquid, because it's a cream. So this, you know, if I were going to put anything in my um, liquids container, it would be this. And then I would bring an extra little eyeliner to, if I wanted to dress up and make my eyes a little bit darker, I would bring my mascara and I would bring a colorful lip crayon. And out of all of this, all of these things, that is all I would bring for my makeup. So I have this little cute bag that I got from Thrive Cosmetics where most of my makeup, some of my makeup is from. And I could pop this in here. And here is my travel makeup. I went from this big old bag to this bag. Throw kindness around like confetti. I just love it. And Thrive Cosmetics actually donates to women in need with every purchase, and I really um, like their products so much. And they last a long time. One of the things you wanna make sure when you're looking at travel makeup is what is going to last all day long. You don't wanna to have to retouch your makeup while you're traveling, if that's something that you like to do. So I guess it's about deciding what it is that you absolutely need and what you want and what makes you feel joyful when you're putting on your makeup when you're traveling. Um, you don't always have to wear makeup when you're traveling. It's kind of nice sometimes just to not wear makeup, but sometimes you want to look good and you want to feel, you know, happy and pretty when you put your makeup on. So let me know what you like to bring, what you think is important. And if you haven't already, I have a download link that can give you a, a packing list and a to-do list before you travel and it's free. And so go get it. It'll help you on your next trip. So thanks very much for watching and have a really great day. Ciao for now. Bye.